welcome to the show today. <laughs> Almost all of your books are interactive. Uh, yeah, I don't like the word interactive. You don't? But, uh, no, because it's with quite a f market stuff. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like that word. I prefer dialogue. Mm -hmm. And uh, I try to create books that elicit dialogues in between adult and children. Or an adult and a child, or when I'm performing, me and an audience, children in school. And what I try also to elicit is to create your own rule to read the book. Did you wake up one day and say, I want to make... No, the thing is, uh, uh, I, I wanted to be an illustrator when I was 30 years old. Mm -hmm. And as an illustrator, it was possible to, to do book for children. And I did one, and I did two, and I did three, and more and more I understood it was the right field for me, for creativity, for possibilities to create something really new. And I fall in love with uh, the, the work of being involved into the children field, which, me, which mean helping the teachers, it's helping the librarians in their daily routine and to give them a uh, new thing to play, to, to create. So you have gone in and worked with children for a month and, and for a year? For sometimes long a of time? classroom for a year, sometimes a school for a year. Really? Yeah, sometimes for two or three days because of the timing, because it's far away, because it's in Malawi, but uh, yeah, for sometimes with two schools for all, all the year long in the same, in the same city. Yeah. Many uh, people here in the U.S. Uh, know you for your book uh, uh, Press Here, mm -hmm. and which uh, is a New York Times bestseller, but your newest book with a Chronicle is uh, Mix, Mix It, it up. up. Tell us a little bit about Mix It Up. Mix It Up. It's a book about colors, and you ask the color to come by tapping, rapping. Rap. Okay. And they are coming. Oh. And when they are all set, you can put your hand on. One, two, three, four, five. Close your eyes. Voila. Voila. <laughs> You've got a magic hand. A magic hand. With a magic hand, you can take some blue. You can put it on the yellow. And it turns into green. Green. Yeah. Yes. And I do it with the other colors. And after that, to be sure you understand, you can take this book, you can shake it. And what color will go on? Ah. <laughs> Green! <laughs> <laughs> if you land the book that way, it will turn into... Purple! purple. Oh, okay, I'm catching on. And if you... Uh-huh. It will turn into... Orange. orange. Oh, and so orange. on and so on. I like the so way you say orange. Yes, I have my New York orange, uh, and you have your French orange. Orange. Yes. Yeah, orange. So, yeah. And I understand that there is an exhibit of your work called Mixing It Up that was recently at the Brooklyn uh, Library, yeah. and it is traveling. And where is it traveling to? It's going to Midland, Texas. Midland, Texas. Yeah. Well, that's great. So, when you create a book, uh, what comes first? You like have a doodle, you're sitting there doodling and you go, oh, well, this is the beginning of a book. Or do you actually have the whole thing uh, uh, planned? I've, I've got hints and intuitions mm -hmm. and it's going far, far away and it's going closer and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting on my shower, I'm waiting in the plane, I'm waiting walking. Uh, or just waking up or whatever and suddenly I feel that I must write it down on my notebook but when I write down I write the whole stuff and then I look back maybe the day after and it wasn't the, the right one no. so I have to wait again and to, to find that hint again the, the eager to think about ideas 
And uh, so I'm waiting. Sometimes it's come in a minute, but when it comes in a minute, it's because I wait for ah. months. I'm going to put you on the spot and okay. ask you <laughs> to show us a little bit of your creativity here. Oh, okay. I've got a very, very, very simple vocabulary. Mm -hmm. uh, my vocabulary is about dots. Mm -hmm. It's about circles. It's about scribbles. Mm -hmm. But with the scribbles, you've got line. So the line can go through. And maybe the dots could go through. Um, I don't know. <laughs> You've got the beginning of something, but I don't start from that point. I, I start from the really inner idea. Mm -hmm. I love this word. <gasps> and this, when I'm going into school, that's why I try to elicit what are we going to do together. And we are thinking, and suddenly someone say, <gasps> an elephant. And if someone say later, just one minute or one second after, say, oh, a giraffe, I say, OK, it's done. Mm -hmm. We've got already the elephant. We want something else. We want something different. So I'm very demanding with ideas. And I love ideas. And you have many ideas. Because I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you don't, I, I think it's just natural because I, I, I'm waiting for them, I'm looking for them, I'm, I'm always thinking there's an idea somewhere. But I, I think I, idea, it's not a big deal of mm -hmm. uh, looking uh, through, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, just walking in my neighborhood, I, I could find an idea. It's become a custom here on uh, Storymakers to celebrate uh, with champagne and, and we wondered what could we possibly celebrate over 180 weeks mm -hmm. on the New York Times bestseller list press, press here so that's a good enough reason so let's celebrate mm -hmm. bubble and dots bubbles and dots <laughs> awesome <laughs> I've done this before okay I'll just put this down well Congratulations, cheers, Thank you. and Thank thanks you. for being with us today. Thank you. Remember, until next time, give a kid a book in any format. You can put your hand on. Uh, it's a little big. Oh. Oh. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Cut.